hi guys, back again. Uh, so this is your last lesson, your last writing lesson of the week. Um, so we're going to be writing a tanker today. Okay. So just to remind you, they're traditionally about the writer's feelings about nature or love. Um, and these are the same ones that you had yesterday, all right? Those example ones that we gave you in the grid. Um, so think about what aspects of nature are featured in these poems. So maybe you could um, annotate around this and pick out aspects of nature. So pause the video here because the answers are on the next page um, and I'm going to go on to the next page and see what's there. All right. Uh, so we've got white sand, seashells, an evening bay, big fluffy chicken, sunlight, a heron, a bird, uh, pine trees, a storm, snow, the sea. So lots of different aspects of nature there in those poems. Uh, this is a reminder. Again, you can use similes, metaphors and personification. Uh, here you've got the world is a lake of ice. So that would be a metaphor, wouldn't it? Because it's saying it is something that it's not. Okay, that it can't be. Okay, so you're going to write your own one today. So we would like you to choose between either a tanker about summer or a tanker about snow or winter, something similar. Okay, so choose a theme and collect some, some vocabulary. So create a bit of a word bank for whatever your theme choice is. Um, have a go at doing that first and then on the next page I've got some examples that you might want to, to pick some words from. Um, those examples are in your documents as well, alright? But pause the video first and have a go at collecting some words of your own. So you've got a winter word list and you've got a summer adjective word bank. All right, that you might want to use in your writing. You might not want to use any of those and you might come up with all of your own. Brilliant. That's great if you do. Uh, so uh, Mrs Hamilton wrote the haiku. I wrote the tanker. So um, I decided to write about birds. So that's an aspect of nature for me and I love birds. So uh, I know that I needed five syllables, seven syllables, five syllables, seven syllables, seven syllables. That is the layout of a tanker. So I wrote, majestic blue bird is like a sapphire in flight. A whistle is heard, yet no blue bird is in sight. When will I see you again? Now I know that we don't have to have rhyme in a tanker or a haiku. Um, it just so happened that I managed to put rhyme in. Um, so if you, if you put it in, that's not, that's not wrong to do so, but it's not necessary. You don't have to do it, okay? Um, okay, it's your turn. Just make sure that you count those syllables when you're writing it. So, majestic blue bird, five, is like a sapphire in flight, seven. Make sure that you're accurate with your, your syllables in each line, okay? Because it's really important that we, fo we follow the, that theme in order for it to be a tanker. Uh, okay, what else do we need to look at? Success criteria. There's one of these in your documents. Make sure you have a look at it. Relatively simple. The structure bit is just about the fact that we need the five lines with the, the different amounts of syllables in each line. Um... It either has to be about summer or snow, we need strong vocabulary choices, uh, and you need to try and show the emotion through your vocabulary choices. So for instance, in mine, I've used the word majestic. So uh, there's something magic about this bird. And actually, in case you don't know, I've written about a kingfisher, one of my favorite birds. So they're, they're, blue, they're um, a lovely blue bird, which is why I've used the word sapphire as well, because sapphires are blue, okay? And I've got a nice simile there. Look, it's like a sapphire in flight. Okay? Once you have done that, uh, that is the piece of work that we need from you this week. So you can either write it up and send it to us, or you might want to perform it. You might want to record yourself um, having performed your poem that you've written, your tanker. We'd love to see that if so. Um, but if not, 
that's absolutely fine too. Just send us the written piece or type it in an email to us. Uh, and I've popped all of the teachers' emails up there, okay? So you will be able to see this a bit clearer when you have this up on your screen. All right, and that is your last task of the week. Um, I hope you have a really great Lighter Learning Day um, on Friday. And we will see you on Monday, ready for your last week before we get to welcome you back. Uh, we cannot wait. We are so looking forward to seeing you. Um, have the best weekend and I will see you on Monday. All right, thanks guys. See you later. Bye.